Next we're going to be doing anterior structures, uh, palpation for the knee. Um, first we're going to do bony structures. The first thing that we have is the femur uh, that we can palpate uh, superior uh, to the knee joint. Uh, then uh, we have the patella or the kneecap right in the middle so you can palpate all borders uh, of that. Uh, so for our, t our attachment for the quads, uh, can also check for uh, dislocation. And um, then we have our uh, next bony structure is going to be our tibial tuberosity, uh, which some people it, it may be a little bit enlarged if they get osteochondritis or um, Oshkid Slaughter disease. Um, but it's also where the attachment for the uh, patellar tendon is going to be. Next we're going to have our soft tissue structures. Uh, first we're going to have our uh, four quadricep muscles up here above the patella. Um, the vastus uh, lateralis and medialis uh, muscles uh, may bulge on each uh, side of the knee. Uh, if we have them extend the knee, go ahead and uh, you may be able to palpate those uh, individually. Uh, we can also um, uh, assess the patellar tendon, again, either above the knee um, or uh, below the knee. Uh, can also be, uh, some people may refer to this in the inferior portion as the patellar ligament and up here the, the patellar uh, tendon because muscle quadriceps to the patella is muscle to bone and this is bone to bone. Um, so the above and below the patella. Uh, the next structure that we're going to have uh, is going to be our uh, patellar fat pad and this is going to be just uh, posterior to the um, uh, patellar tendon and for this one uh, it's usually at the level of the uh, uh, knee joint uh, so right around here and then we're also going to have our um, our uh, bursa, we have several bursa at the knee. Um, here we, ha we have our uh, infrapatellar bursa. Um, uh, below the patella. And then we also have our uh, prepatella bursa uh, up here on the uh, top. And those can be inflamed for uh, bursitis. I'm gonna palpate the medial structures of the knee. Um, First we're going to start with the bony structures. Uh, the first one is going to be our uh, medial uh, tibial uh, plateau uh, and this is just uh, inferior to the joint line. Uh, this is a point of attachment for the uh, medial meniscus uh, inside there. Uh, the next thing that we have is going to be our uh, medial femoral condyle. Uh, uh, this is on the distal end of our femur bone. Uh, and this is immediate, uh, immediately medial to the uh, patella um, and it's above the antero medi anterior medial joint line and it's also posterior uh, to the adductor tubercle. And then we're going to have the next one is going to be the medial femoral uh, epicondyle. Um, located over here again on the distal uh, femur and then the last one that we're going to have in the over here in the back uh, this is going to be your adductor tubercle and this is going to be posterior and a distal portion of the femoral uh, from the uh, medial femoral epicondyle and that's the attachments for your uh, adductor muscles uh, and it's also located between the vastus medialis and the hamstring muscles. Next we're going to do soft tissue structures on the medial side. Uh, and the first one is going to be our medial meniscus. Okay, So uh, for this one it might help to um, uh, rotate the tibia. Uh, if we uh, rotate the tibia um, internally it might make it a little bit more um, palpable. Uh, and then we, we 
I have the medial collateral ligament. Uh, this there is a um, this is the branch here on the medial side, and there's the deep portion inserts directly uh, into the edge of the tibial plateau uh, and meniscus, and the superior portion of the this uh, medial collateral ligament uh, inserts uh, more distally onto the flare of the patella down here. Uh, the next uh, soft tissues that we're going to have is going to be our muscles uh, and um, this is our sartorius, um, our gracilis, uh, and our semitendinosus muscles. Uh, a nice way to remember this is uh, the, the phrase, uh, say grace before T. Uh, so first we start off with our um, sartorius muscle. Uh, it's going to be first followed by our um, gracilis muscle and then our semi-tendinosis uh, muscles. Um, so uh, usually the semi-tendinosis semi muscle is going to be the most posterior and inferior tendon and the gracilis is going to be slightly uh, anterior and medial to the semi-tendinosis. And then the last one that we're going to have uh, near that attachment is called the uh, Pazanserine Bursa. Uh, so that's going to be down here. Uh, this is, uh, so this is, there's the Pazanserine tendon and the Bursa uh, that you can palpate just medial to the uh, uh, tibial tuberosity. So, which is down here. <coughs> 